friends, long time no see. If I had a dollar for every single vlog that I have started over the past few weeks and not finished and not posted, I would be a millionaire right now. I have been trying so hard to get back into YouTube, back into sharing with you guys, and I've been struggling because I will start a vlog out strong in the morning talking to you guys about what I have going on for the day, saying I'm so sorry I've been gone, blah blah blah, and then like three hours later I totally forget about vlogging and don't pick up the camera again or we just don't do anything worth showing you guys. So hopefully this vlog works out and it sticks. Um, not gonna make any promises in terms of quality or quantity, it might be very short, but I am bound and determined whatever I film today is going to get edited into some sort of vlog and I'm going to get it up and I'm going to get back to YouTube. I'm gonna sit down and do a whole like life update video at some point um, and you guys will see that, but I didn't wanna wait to film that to film this because who knows when I'm gonna get around to doing that, so. We're gonna do a day in the life vlog. It may be short, it may not be super interesting, but I want to get back to YouTube so badly, so this is where we're gonna start. So it is Wednesday. It's pouring down rain slash thunderstorming, but I'm going out anyway. We're gonna hit up the grocery store. I am currently writing my little grocery list. Um, don't mind the mess in the background. You guys know how it is around here, it's real life. Um, I have some laundry and stuff to do, but Writing out my grocery list, I'm currently working in two different planners because this planner here ends in the end of June, this planner starts at the beginning of July, and I'm kind of planning both months kind of at the same time, so it's a little awkward. We're just kind of transitioning, but that's beside the point. We're going to write up a grocery list. I'm going to go to Aldi and Walmart and Gordon Food Service this morning. We're also going to hit up a local meat market called Cattleman's so that we can get a meat bundle today. So we're going to stock up the house because um, school year is rapidly coming to an end. It is the first week of June here. Next week, this, this is the kids' last full week of school. Next week they have two full days and a half day and that's it. And um, my kids eat like grown men, so I need to make sure that we are fully stocked on meals and snacks and stuff. Um, if you guys want to see a video on kind of how I prep for summer vacation, um, and maybe we'll just kind of throw it in here. Basically, I just make sure that the fridge and the pantry is stocked. Um, my kids are older now, so I don't need to plan like activities and events. I used to go all out with that. Um, and have like a whole list of possibilities of things to do for when the kids say, I'm bored 500 times a day. But now they're kind of older and they're pretty self-sufficient and they don't really count on me to entertain them, so I don't really need to do that anymore. Um, but if you guys have younger kids and you're looking for activities and stuff to do with them, definitely check out Pinterest. There is a zillion different lists of summer activities to do with kids for free, places you can go in your area. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't really need that because Robbie's 16. He will hopefully be getting a job this summer and hopefully be playing soccer. We're hoping he'll be academically eligible to play soccer this summer because um, he's been real str really struggling with his grades. He's always kind of been struggling with his grades, but it's been a little bit worse lately. So he's like right on the pass-fail line in terms of um, one of his classes that he needs to um, be able to be academically eligible. So fingers crossed that that works out. If that works out and he is able to be on the soccer team um, for next season, then he'll be conditioning all summer um, and hopefully working, like I said. He um, is in driver's training right now, so he's really actively trying to save money for gas and car insurance because that's coming up within the next six months. So he has to drive on his permit for six months before he can get his license, but um, he's like actively trying to save for that. Austin's got all kinds of stuff he's got planned, got lots of camping trips and stuff for the summer, so...
All right, you guys, so we are here at Aldi and they don't open for about 10 minutes. Um, if you watch my grocery hauls, you know that I do a pretty even like 50-50 split with my groceries, um, half at Aldi and then the other half at Walmart. Um, I eventually would like to get to the point where I'm buying everything at Aldi, but um, we're not there yet. There's still some things that I have to get at Walmart. So um, this is my first stop. I'm going to go in and get what I need here. Then we're going to head over to Walmart. I think I've decided against going to, going to Gordon Food Service just because um, I can get hot dogs here at Aldi. And um, they're just as good. You don't get quite as many, but... Um, I want to try to get all of this done before the rain starts up again because we have a little mini reprieve right now. It's actually quite um, clear out for right now. There's not any super dark clouds, so hopefully we can get the shopping done before it starts pouring down rain again. Fingers crossed. All right, you guys, I am done at Aldi. It, rain is still holding out, but it is humid as hell. I just entered in my total that I spent at Aldi into my Every Dollar app. That's what I use to track my grocery budget. I spent $59.55, so a little over half of what I was hoping to spend today. I'm sweating like a pig. Um, so I'm hoping I don't go over, but I tend to go over when I go into Walmart. So wish me luck. All right, you guys, long time no see. Let's get into a grocery haul. I went to Aldi and Walmart. Everything is mixed together on the table because I honestly was not planning on filming a haul. And then I thought, why the hell not? So um, I'll kind of go through and tell you where everything is from as I go, um, if I remember. But just know that it's all Walmart and Aldi. It's the same place as I go every week. Um, I was stocking up on fresh fruit and snacks for the kids because summer vacation's rapidly approaching. I spent about $140. I went in thinking I was gonna spend about 100, and boy was I wrong, but I had to pick up a few um, non-food items, some food saver bags, um, some wood pellets for our grill, which you will not see here because I didn't bother carting them in the house because they just had to turn around and go right back out. Um, so yeah, I spent a little bit more than I wanted to, and you'll notice there's no meat to speak of because we are going to go and buy a bundle from our local meat market. So that's going to be um, another good chunk of money, but we'll be nice and stocked up for the month on meat. So let's go ahead and get into it. First from Aldi, I picked up some of these kiwi strawberry juice boxes just for something different. Don't usually buy juice boxes, but I thought the kids would enjoy those. Um, I got this buffalo hummus for Robbie. I thought he would enjoy that. That was Aldi as well. Continuing with Aldi, I got a bunch of these yogurts, um, just kind of random flavors, some grape tomatoes, some Roma tomatoes, these strawberries. I got some green grapes, those were on sale. Um, I got a bag of peaches here, as well as a bag of nectarines, a head of iceberg lettuce, um, the trio of bell peppers there, some mixed vegetables to put in our freezer and some green beans to go in the freezer. I also got a cantaloupe. Um, continuing viewing with Aldi, I got some Colby cheese and some sharp cheddar. I also picked up some of these cheese wedges. My family loves these. These are the pepper jack flavor. Um, they're sort of like the laughing cow cheese, but much more affordable. Um, The milk came from Aldi. I got two half gallons instead of a gallon because it was cheaper to buy it that way. Um, from Walmart, I picked up some cheese singles as well as some more of these cheese singles. So these are the hot ha jalapeno and habanero cheese. That's my husband's favorite. And some sharp cheddar cheese slices. Um, I picked up the watermelon from Walmart also picked up the coffee creamer from Walmart. Um, back to Aldi for a minute. I picked up some of these turkey snack sticks. I thought the kids would enjoy those. I did get some chicken breast tenderloins because they were on sale for $2 off, so I paid $4 for two and a half pounds. But that was a pretty good deal. I also got some hot dogs. Um, did I already talk about the cantaloupe? I think I did, so we will move on from there picked up this big box or I don't know jar of the honey wheat pretzel twists I thought those would be good for snacks for the kids um, also for snacks I picked up 
the woven wheat crackers, as well as some pita crackers. Um, what else here? The jar of grape jelly came from Aldi. The baked beans, I got a can of the original, as well as these ones. We haven't tried these yet, so hopefully they'll be good. They're the onion flavor. Um, also got a container of salt from Aldi. From Walmart, I grabbed some oregano leaves. I also got some barbecue sauce, some of our favorite peanut butter. This is the honey roasted creamy peanut butter. Um, the cherries came from Walmart as well. Let's just finish up with the Walmart stuff back here really quickly. I got the um, Cheerios, the big bag of Cheerios from Walmart. The peanut butter crunch, which is my favorite cereal. I also got this um, carpet shampoo for our carpet cleaner. Got a box of tissues, which I then proceeded to drop, so it's kind of crushed, but they'll still work. Told you guys we needed vacuum sealer bags. That is for packaging up all the meat we're going to buy later. And if I'm not mistaken, that's everything from Walmart. Nope, the Coke came from Walmart as well. The rest of this is Aldi. So two things of hamburger buns, two loaves of white bread, two things of hot dog buns, and some English muffins. And I think that's it. It's a little confusing trying to go through everything when it's all mixed together, but hopefully I got everything. Um, yeah, that's what $140 looks like. With the exception of the pellets. I got like a big 40 pound bag of wood pellets out in the car as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Now I got to put it all away. So wish me luck on that. I'll see you guys in another video soon. Bye.